If a Chromebook isn't your primary device, you may not know about some of the awesome productivity tricks that are built right into the operating system. Let me show you some of my favorites so that you can impress your students tomorrow during class. Hi, my name is John Sowash. I help teachers and students use Google products in the classroom. I'm a big Chromebook user, love my Chromebook, and they have some amazing built-in shortcuts and tricks that are gonna make your life a lot easier. I'd like to show you five that you and your students can utilize. The first has to do with copy and paste. Now, copy and paste is a standard thing, control C for copy, control V for paste, but Chromebooks make it even better. There's a special shortcut for paste on a Chromebook. I'm gonna show you how it works. So I'm gonna pull up a uh, document here. I'm creating a President's Day quiz for my students. I found this uh, PDF and I wanna uh, copy these questions into a Google form. So let me show you how I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna copy question one, control C, highlight the answers for that, control C. Let's go down to question two, copy, and then the answers, copy. Now I just copied four things in rapid succession. Now I'm gonna head over to my Google form. I'm gonna to go to question one, but instead of typing in or pressing control V for paste, I'm going to use the search key on your Chromebook. So you have a little key that has a magnifying glass on it. It's normally where the caps lock symbol would be. So I'm gonna press search V, and this is going to show me the last five things that I copied. So I can go ahead and select my first question, done search V, type in my answer choices, look at that. Head down to question two, again, search V, question two, and then my answer choices, search V one last time, done. The copy and paste feature on a Chromebook is so much better when you use that search V shortcut, you can access multiple things that you've copied. All right, for tip number two, I'm gonna head over to Google Classroom. I'm a big fan of emoji. I've done several videos on emoji. I have some different extensions that I use for emoji. But did you know that your Chromebook has a built-in emoji keyboard? In order to access the emoji keyboard, you've gotta press Shift, search and the space bar, and you'll see a little emoji icon pop up. Now I've got a little question here, what type of pet do you have? And I need to add some answer choices here in Google Classroom. So I'm gonna type in again, shift, search, space bar, and I'm gonna search for a dog. There we go, that's option one. Shift, search, space, let's search for cat. Here's a good cat emoji. And just for good measure, we'll do a uh, fish. Shift, search, space, fish, and there's a fish. You can use extensions to access emoji, but some school districts block extensions. Maybe your students can't access those extensions. You don't even need it. There's a built-in emoji keyboard right on your Chromebook. Moving on to tip number three, I wanna introduce you to window overview mode. Now there's a special key on your Chromebook. It's located right above the number six on uh, your keyboard. And uh, when you press this key, you get window overview mode, which looks like this. So you can see um, I have multiple applications open, tabs, Google Keep, Chrome Canvas. Um, and I can quickly switch between them. So I'm preparing um, this graphic here for inclusion in a quiz. Uh, press the switcher key, head over to Google Keep for my notes, switcher key, and um, can access Google Classroom. That's one of the things that the window overview key does. The other cool thing is it gives you access to virtual desks. So you can see up here at the top of my screen, I have multiple desktops. And this is really helpful when you're multitasking, you have many different things going on. Um, so I didn't want to accidentally show my grade book during the video. So I have a tab um, up here for grading. Um, this is where my grade book is located. Um, this is where I'm doing some lesson planning on this one. I've got my blog open on this virtual desk. Um, and so I can switch back and forth depending on what task I'm doing. If I'm lesson planning, grading, blogging, creating videos um, by pressing that window switcher key. You can have up to eight virtual desks, which is a lot. I, don't, I can't handle that many, uh, but it's a very helpful uh, feature for organizing your content. It's also important for you as teachers to know that students can't potentially hide 
applications or websites they don't want you to know that they have open by placing them in those virtual desks. So if you, again, if you press the Windows switcher key, you'll see the overview and you can quickly see if there are any additional desks open, click on them to see uh, what's there. I've got a whole video on virtual desks. If you're interested, check out the link in the description. For tip number four, I'm gonna head back to Google Classroom and I'm gonna show you how you can easily multitask on a Chromebook. So I've got this assignment for my students, but they're gonna to need to see two things at the same time. They need to have this Google site open and they need to be able to do some research about the questions that I have provided for them. To do that is really easy. I'm gonna press the Alt key and the left bracket key and that's gonna split my screen in half to the left. Then I'm gonna grab this Google site tab and we're gonna tear it off. We're just gonna pull it down. And I'm gonna press the Alt key and the right bracket. That's you know over by the backspace key, Alt right bracket. And that'll slide that tab to the right. And now I've got a great split screen. I can look at this question and do some research and then type my answer into the box below. Tip number five has to do with some of the accessibility features that are built into your Chromebook. This is very helpful for everybody and especially students who may have special learning needs. I'd like to show you the keyboard shortcuts for dictation and text to speech. So we're still working on this World War II assignment. We've got a question we need to answer and some research for us to read. Students who struggle with reading can use the feature called select to speak. It's very easy. We're going to simply highlight some text that we wish to have read, and then we're going to press search S. Axis powers coalition headed by Germany, Italy, and Japan. So this is the built in text to speech feature for Chromebooks. This is incredibly reliable. It will work on any text that appears on your screen, whether it's email, Google Forms, a PDF, anywhere that there is text, you can highlight it. Uh, search S will activate that. Now there are a few other features with the Select to Speak, and I'm gonna link to a blog post in the description that will give you a full overview of this uh, particular feature. You can speed up the text, change the voice. There's a lot of other things uh, that this feature can do. The second accessibility feature that I wanna show you is dictation. So if a student is, um, not an efficient typer and they have a hard time getting their thoughts onto the screen, they can dictate their response. So I'm going to type uh, or click in a text box and then I'm going to press the search key again and D for dictation. The Axis Powers Coalition was headed by Germany, Italy, and Japan, period. And that is the dictation tool. And you can see it did a pretty good job. It does punctuation if you enunciate that uh, as well. Uh, the dictation feature, again, the keyboard shortcut is search D. You do need to make sure that you have clicked into a text field uh, before you use that keyboard shortcut. Just like select to speak, this will work in email, Google Forms, Google Docs, Google Sites. It works uh, everywhere. These Chromebook shortcuts can vastly improve your efficiency on a Chromebook and just make life a little bit easier. There is one more Chromebook shortcut that you really need to know about, and that is how to take a screenshot. Make sure you check out this video if you're interested in learning how to take screenshots. And if you'd like an easy way to remember all of these Chromebook shortcuts, check out this free PDF download that I've created that will give you a list of the five that I've discussed here and a whole bunch more uh, great shortcuts that work on Chromebooks.